What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Action Bronson 1906 Rosewater colorway. Now this is a video that I'm extremely excited to make. You guys know my love for the Action Bronson collaborations, the Baklava and the Lapis Azuli that came out last year. And this is right up there with it. I absolutely love this sneaker and I'm here to break it down for you guys. So this sneaker right here is absolutely beautiful. It's part of a three pack and that three pack has yet to fully release. So far we've only gotten the Rosewater, which was arguably a very bad drop, but we'll get into that. You got the Scorpius, which was extremely limited. And then you got the Medusa Azuli, which I'm hoping will be the easiest one to cop, taking that there is the most pairs of that one. But today we're talking about the beautiful Rosewater. So let's get into it. So this came out on May 31st via Action Bronson's website, Specializing in Life which had its own subdivision website, which was like 185 roses or whatever. There was a password. The drop itself was a mess. The shoe sold out 10 minutes before the sneakers actually released. So it was just, it was an awful drop. A lot of people were upset, including myself. I was very heartbroken. I knew I was gonna get it eventually. I knew I was willing to pay resale, so that's fine. So I did pay resale for these, I bought them off of StockX. I'm not mad about how much I paid for them. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I was gonna spend a lot more. Because um, I knew I had to have this sneaker. Um, one, I don't have a 1906, and two, I love Action Bronson. So hopefully the Medusa Azuli drop is a lot better. I'm thinking that one's going to get a New Balance release as well as a release on his website. I think he's going to delay the drop a little bit so the bots, he can figure out how to get rid of the bots. That's what I'm hoping, but we'll see. The Scorpius, on the other hand, was like the most limited drop ever. Um, he, he wasn't even going to release that, so he just sent out a few emails to people that were his most loyal customers. I don't know how I didn't get that, but that's how you could buy them. They're like $2,000. I'll never own that sneaker, which is fine. I have this. All right, so to start things off, we're going to talk about the upper. So what we have is a very breathable mesh in this cream colorway with pink underlays, uh, which I think make it look beautiful. Like when you think of a beautiful sneaker, this is the first sneaker that comes to my mind. It's just elegant and wonderful. He designed it to be like a woman's colorway. He said, real sneakerheads know cop on those women's joints uh, was something he had to do. So I think that's what he designed these off of it was a woman's colorway and it looks great. So we got this beautiful whitish cream upper mesh uh, with pink underlays. And then you have a pink mesh tongue. We have some blue, which I think looks great. The blue N, it doesn't really make sense why it's there, but it looks great. It's like a shiny blue when you look at it from a distance. And then you have this uh, cream suede that wraps around the front, this mud guard. I like this mud guard, how it's, it's short here and long here. I think that looks really good. That's just the 1906. You get the back, you get this, this pink cage on the back, which is great. A very stable feeling when you're wearing it. Um, I really do like the way this looks. And then you have the orange under it. So... The laces are my favorite laces of all time. I love these thin rope laces, and I love the Action Bronson only gives you one pair because he doesn't want you to mess up his artwork, he calls this, which it is. So the green laces came with this one. You got pink in the Baklavas, and then you got the tan in the Lapis Azulis. I think the green ones are the best ones so far, but that's just my opinion. So the upper on this sneaker is different from any other 1906 as far as I know. It looks like New Balance gave Action Bronson every creative aspect in this creation of this shoe. He could do whatever he wanted with these three. So this one, most 1906s have a bunch of mesh on them and they have plastic and, and over, a lot of overlays that cover the shoe, different sections and pieces. This one just is one piece and it has like a plastic, almost like a, a plastic glue over it. I don't know how else you would describe it over it so it's just like a little thin layer and it doesn't affect the shoe at all it's just wraps around it it's like a skin almost and i think it looks amazing and that's why the rose water is my favorite one out of the three pack just from that alone because I, sometimes it's cool to have all that chunky stuff on the on the mesh itself but this looks really good how it's just this thin little plastic layer that wraps around the shoe where the mesh and the um, nylon would be on any other 1906 but with that, it did come with like almost like a warning label, and I'm going to read that real quick. It says, color migration and care. In case of exposure to moisture, you may experience color migration 
from the darker areas of your shoes onto the lighter colored materials caused by normal wear and wet conditions and precipitation. I've never gotten a, a warning label like that in a New Balance before, so I'm really curious to see what that means and if it'll actually happen. And there's only one way to find out, and that's to wear them, and we'll get into that later. Going to the midsole, we just have a purple and orange midsole, which I think looks great. Um, nothing to complain about. It's just different shades of orange the whole way through. This is the same midsole you would get on an 8060 V2, as well as a 2002 R which I think this is a great midsole to use on non-made models. It's comfortable, it's durable, it's stable, it looks great. And now going to the outsole of the sneaker, this might be one of my favorite outsoles of all time just because of how diverse the colors are. Now I have worn this sneaker a lot, so um, I've had it for three days and I have not worn another sneaker since. So we got some like bright gummy red, we got this gum outsole right here, which looks great. And then the blue, the blue is my favorite. Um, as you can see, I already stepped on like a barrier or something. So I really love this outsole and it'll last a long time. It's durable. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that really adds that chef's kiss to this sneaker is that beautiful colorful outsole um, that kind of just makes no sense. But it, it, then again, it's Action Bronson, so it works. So I really love the colors he used on the sneaker to really bring the 1906 up a notch. I really do love this silhouette and I've wanted it for a really long time. I just never have got it because I was waiting on a good colorway and why not start with this beautiful Action Bronson collab. So a super cool touch on the sneaker is you get this badge of honor he calls it. Is this says Baklava 1906 right across big and bold. I think that looks great with it. Um, I would not want it any other way. The material is going through it. Start from here to here to tie the laces together called N-Lock which is the material the 1906 has. So the technology is actually making up the N, which is a really cool touch. You can actually slide your finger under that N if you really wanted to. So I think that really makes the 1906 stand out from any other New Balances. As far as comfort in the 1906, it's a pretty comfortable shoe. It's no 990, um, but it, it will get you to where you need to be comfortably, and you'll never complain about the comfort. I'd give it like an eight out of 10. Uh, for whatever reason, this is a little less comfortable than my 8060 that I have. I don't know if that's just because I've worn that a few times. But this is a very comfortable shoe, and it's very stable, which I really enjoy. This cage on the back heel, and then you have the stability web on the bottom. This plastic piece right here uh, feels really good on your foot. As far as sizing, I would go true to size. It's, it's a little slim fit compared to a 990. These don't fit like the made models, so go to your regular true to size on this sneaker. All right. Next up is the box. The box is probably the best box that he's come out with yet. Yeah, the other one was just a very plain gray box. So we do get this super cool red box, which I think looks great. It says Baklava on the front and this nice pixelated rainbow font. Uh, it also says it right here as well. So great box. Now going into the box, uh, it is like a 990 box, which is, was surprising to me. You do get this cool uh, reflective mirror like you did on the, the 990s, which I think is great. And you get this badge as well that came on the side of the shoe. It just says Baklava 1906. Looks great. I might put that on my keys. And then the dust bag. This dust bag is probably my favorite dust bag I've ever seen in my life. It's like see-through. You can probably see me right now. It just says specializing in life, Baklava, and New Balance. I don't use dust bags ever. I don't really have a reason to because if I'm going to wear the shoe, I'm going to have it on my feet. Unless I'm traveling, which I don't do that often. I'm going to use this as my gym bag probably, just throw all my stuff in here and carry it around because it's such a dope bag and I just want to use it as much as possible. So the box is really cool, one of my favorite boxes. Now Action Bronson said there were special features on the sneaker, he said you would know when you put it on. I've yet to discover that special feature, so I've been paying very close attention. I've been wearing this sneaker a lot and I've just been admiring it, like I'll just look at my feet while I'm sitting there. Just absolutely falling in love with the sneaker more and more and more. It just looks great on foot. It feels great. It's it's my sneaker of the year so far. I don't even know what would compete with this, in my opinion. This is my sneaker of the year, hands down. Um, I think this is, the, like I said, the best out of the three pack. It just it's elegant, beautiful. It's just a, it's art. That's all it is. So. I love it so much. I love Action Bronson as a person. He's one of my favorite people. If I could meet one person, it would be Action Bronson. He's just so creative in the things he does. And 
he's just that guy, I guess. There's just so much creativity that went into this sneaker, and I'm glad New Balance just let him be him on this sneaker. They just let him do what he wanted with it. And the prices for this sneaker are coming down pretty significantly. They were like 600 when I first saw, and now they're coming down to the 300s. I think it just got below 300, so the prices are coming down. So keep your eyes out, and if you do want a pair, I say you should buy one. I didn't have any problems spending that extra cash on these. So that's just my opinion, though, as far as pricing. So what I really wanted to get into in this video is, I don't know if I'm going to make another video about it, I'm going to wear test this sneaker. I'm going to wear this shoe for the rest of the summer, every day, no exceptions, just this sneaker. I'm going to wear this to the gym, I'm going to run in it, I'm going to hang up with my friends, I'm going to dress it down, dress it up. I'm going to wear this sneaker everywhere all summer, get it dirty, beat it up, give it life, show my summer story in this sneaker. I haven't done a wear test in a while, and I also want to see how a non-made model holds up with long amounts of wear, because I know a 990 can take just about anything. But can a 1906 do it? That's what I want to find out. So I'm going to beat this sneaker to death, wear it every day. So I'm going to wear it till August 18th. So the reason I'm going to wait till August 18th to stop this the wear test, that's like, that's like two months almost, a little like 60 days or something like that, is August 18th, I'm going to an Action Bronson concert. So why not let that be the last day to wear these sneakers? So let's go get an on foot and then we'll come back for the conclusion. That's all I have for this video. This is an absolute 10 out of 10 sneaker. Top five sneaker in my opinion for my collection. I love it. It's a great sneaker. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day.